Hello, my friends, and good morning. Rudy Rodriguez coming to you from my uh, hometown in Aurora, Illinois. It's a beautiful day. The sun is out. The birds are chirping, as you can probably hear on the video. The uh, trees are green as can be. And uh, I've already been up and working for um, nearly three and a half, four hours now. And uh, just wanted to cut this quick video for you guys um, and share a little bit of, um, of what I've learned recently and uh, have, has really impacted and led to results in my life. And uh, but that's about uh, time management. Or really, it's time management's a little bit of a misnomer, um, as I've recently learned. It's more about self-management. I was reading a book called The Effective Executive by Peter Drucker, and it really reinforced a lot of the, uh, the tips, tricks, um, sharing that a lot of my successful friends have shared with me and uh, fundamentally that's being aware of your time and it's fascinating because if you don't think your time is your most valuable asset you're wrong as an entrepreneur whether you're a network marketer an internet marketer a traditional business owner of any sort of entrepreneur, your time is more valuable than anything else. Uh, my time. Uh, that's something we cannot get back. We can't trade for more. We can't buy back. We can't multiply. Uh, maybe we can compress sometimes, but um, for the most part, it is very inelastic. Unlike money. Money, uh, even though we may think it's, it's scarce at times, um, it is much less scarce than the finite amount of time that you have, that you and I both have. And this is really critical to, uh, to own this concept of your time being your very most valuable asset. And uh, that, you know, once you take that on board, uh, <laughs> then really getting on the court about your time and figuring out what it is in your life that is worth your time and what it is that's not worth your time and getting rid of all the things in your life that are not supportive of your goals, dreams, ambitions, your family, uh, your community, whatever it is that's important to you. And for those things that remain in your life that are important, figuring out what is first, first things first, what is most important, what has to get done first for your overall well-being and effectiveness as an executive. By the way, you are an executive. In the 21st century, if you work with your mind, if, you're, you, know, if, you're, if you feed yourself with your ideas, your, your, your thoughts, um, you know, with your words as a network marketing sharing, you are an executive. So don't write yourself off. Anyhow, so once you get first things first in your life, then you got to feel, well, how do you determine what's first, right? It's... Uh, Fundamentally, leads to results. What is the result that you desire? You know, and if you look at that result, aside from all other things, ask yourself what activities that are, require my time um, have the most amount of leverage that work me towards this result. Those activities that have the most amount of leverage are generally the activities that you want to knock out first in your day. And uh, also on this point, consider the uh, the distinction of having a long-term strategy, a long-term game, and a short-term game. Sometimes we're willing to put things first that are going to give us the short-term advantage, uh, the short-term um, you know, achievement, per se, at the sacrifice of the long-term. You know, we're, we're, we're kind of sacrificing that product proactivity, that, that long-term game sometimes for the short-term game. And it may solve your problem now, but uh, it is not the most effective use of your time. So really think about, you know, what, how can I think long term, and what activities need to be done first to gain me the most leverage over the longest period of time. Uh, for me personally, I've developed a pretty awesome routine uh, within the last couple months as a result of a productivity course I'm taking, and it's been really life changing. Um, I wake up at zero five every morning. First thing I do is I drink a significant amount of water. I don't have an exact quantity, but it's generally as much as I can hold in my belly without getting sick. <laughs> and uh, I brush my teeth. 
I brush my teeth, and in the mirror where I brush my teeth, I have 10 exact goals that I have set for myself over a 90-day period. They're very specific goals, smart goals, smart, measurable, attainable, realistic, timely goals that I review and visualize every single morning as I, uh, as I do my morning hygiene. After that, I recently incorporated um, what's called a, a nasal cleanse via a neti pot. If you've ever heard of it, you can Google search neti pot. I've only been doing it for a few days, but it's made an incredible difference. It, it, it uh, just clears up the sinuses, allows you to have better breathing all day long, and it's, it's significant, the, the impact that good breathing and hydration has in your life. It's pretty, pretty you know, simple, but the result is significant. So I encourage you to try something like that. Next thing I do, I uh, tie my sneakers on. I generally I'll sleep in my gym clothes. I'll tie my sneakers on. I'll do a nice, you know, three to five minute stretch as I kind of visualize how I would like my day to occur. And then I go out the door and I. I